Um, next one, how accessible should abortion services be in Australia? Um, so as accessible as a haircut, probably. Perfect. I wish they had a box for that. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's it's not very accessible at the moment. I mean, compared to the US, it's you know miles better. Um, but it, there's still, um, especially regional Australia, given you know our landmass and how, how widespread we are as a population, um, that there's certainly difficulties, and that there's still Christian lobbies. We still have that issue. Again, not as bad as the US, but that, that issue still exists here. Um, so yeah, yeah, I would say much more, but uh, let's see. Uh, so Sarah, you would say much more as well, with the sounds of that. Um, Aditya, yourself? Much more from my side as well. Yeah. Much more, but I would say this right should be mediated with uh, provision of counseling services. Of course. Um, yeah. I, I think abortion services are required by very young women or sometimes girls of childbearing age that starts pretty early these days. Um, we in the beginning discussed and agreed, or at least I gave information that people don't manage to come to mature decision-making up to the mid twenties or even early twenties or mid twenties. So if it's a child of 14, a young person of 18, and a decision is to be made, I think such a person not prevented, but should be helped and facilitated to make that decision after full provision of information and consequences. Absolutely. No, that's really comprehensive. I think that's, that's very important to remember that. Um, awesome. How much power should trade unions have in the workplace? 